Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good to see you. Good evening. Good evening. How was your weekend? I'm good. Excellent. How are you doing with the platform? Did you finish the exercises? Yes. Okay. With good grades, a hundred. Okay, I'm going to check the attendance. Jennifer Paola. No here. Jocelyn Natalia. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Jose Francisco. José Francisco Aguilar, Juana Candelaria, Good evening, teacher. I'm Good here. evening. I can uh, open the camera because I feel a little sick. Okay. But I want to be here. Okay. Karen Xiomara. Karen Xiomara, no here. Karina Yasmin. Present, teacher. Excellent. Carla Melissa. I'm here. Okay. Catherine Stephanie. Present, teacher. Okay. Leslie Natalie. <coughs> Present, teacher, le dejé un mensaje. Okay. Okay, let me start it. Lisbeth Martinez. I'm here, teacher. Good, okay. good evening. Good evening. Lucia Elena. Present, teacher. Okay. Luz Virginia. Margarita Abigail. Present. Okay. María de Los mm. Ángeles. María de Los Ángeles Guerra. Martín Ernesto. Martín, no here. Miley. Present, Miss. Okay. Melissa Guadalupe. 
Present teacher. Okay. Michelle Beatriz. Present. Okay. Raul Jose. Raul Jose, no here. Roberto Carlos. Uh, present teacher, nada más una observación. Yes. Solo voy a estar de una forma este, de, de presencial, escuchándole, pero si no voy a poder participar, tengo un pequeño problemita aquí. Ok, Roberto. Ok, gracias. Roberto Eduardo. Uh, present teacher. Excelente. Rodi Dalila. Present teacher. Ok. Yes, I think. Much of us are sick. Sandra Maritza. Sandra Maritza Serrano. Selma Yanilet. Present. Okay. Stephanie Yain. Present, Miss. Excellent. Victoria Ingrid. Victoria Ingrid. Present. Okay. Okay. So can you tell me if you completed the platform? Because according to Floor, some of you didn't finish the platform. Okay, can you tell me who is telling the truth? Porque yo les pregunté y me dijeron yes. Did you work on the platform? Did you yes, teacher. Section one and two? Yes. Yeah, in, my, yeah, in my case, yes. yes, teacher, I did it. Okay. Do you have uh, problems with some exercises? No. No, teacher. Okay. Okay, so for this week, we are going to work on uh, section three. And we are going to start working with prepositions okay the unit of, of the lesson is what's your neighborhood like okay so we're going to talk about places okay we're going to talk about um or this or how to describe places and also how to explain what something or what a specific place uh, it is in the in town or in our neighborhood. Yes. Okay, so for beginning with the class, we are going to uh, listen the conversation and then we are going to practice in pairs. Okay, the conversation is I'm your new neighbor. Okay, only let me play it. Attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, 
There's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? Okay. So, did you listen? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Because some of you reported sick and or you will not be able to interact during the class, we are going to practice together. Okay, para no tener problemas si formo parejas y, y no les enciende la cámara o no pueden hablar o algo. So we are going to practice here. So I will need some volunteers. Volunteers. Okay, Lisbeth, and one more, please. Okay, and Candy, muy bien. Okay, I'm going to share the, the conversation. And you are going to read it. Who will be Jack? Okay, Lisbeth. Okay, you will be Jack. And Candy, you will be um, Mrs. Day. Okay. Excuse me. I I'm your new neighbor. Jack, I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are also on Pine, Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Oh, good. And well, I think. Sorry, sorry, yes. Um, well, I think there's, there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop. Okay, thank you. Okay, now I'm going to need two more volunteers, but I, uh, you have to change, put your name, and also you have to uh, use places here from El Salvador, okay? For example, uh, you, you have to change the, the, the street, you have to, to change the places, okay? You can ask for another places, so I need two more volunteers. Okay, Michelle, no problem. Okay, Roberto, Eduardo. Okay, and who else? And Stephanie. Okay, Roberto, you are going to be Jack. Okay, remember, use your uh, name and change the place. Okay. go. Okay. Uh, excuse me. I am your neighbor. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Your new neighbor. Uh, excuse me. I am your new neighbor, Roberto. I just moved in. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm looking for a uh, grocery storage. Are there uh, are there are any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. 
Uh, thank you. Bye, the way. There's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Yeah. Okay, thank you. What other place can you um, cite in a neighborhood or in a city? What places do you think are important? Are the most important or the most common? Restaurant. Restaurants, okay. Church. Which one? Drug store. Stores, okay. But what kind Library. of stores? What kind of stores? Drugstore. A drugstore, okay. What else? Library. A library. A school, gym. School, okay, that's very important. Okay, a gym. Church. Hospital. 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 Church, okay. Park. The park. A park, okay, a park. Okay, what else? A bank. What about a butcher? Do you know what is it? No. It's the place in which you buy meat. Well, here, uh, in in our context, you you buy it on the supermarkets or in the mar at the markets. But there are some special places in which you buy only, only meat. Could be poultry, could be uh, fish, could be okay, anything related with meat. Okay, what other place you can mention? A shopping center. A shopping center, okay. A movie, movie theater. Movie the theater. theater, okay. What about a bank? A Cine. bank, yes. They Gas are station. Very important. Which one? Gas station. Gas station, excellent. Police station. Police station, yes. And what happens if it is an emergency like fire in some place or in a house? Mm -hmm. Fire! Solo en español me acuerdo, <laughs> Fireman Station. Are you fire. sure? A fire station. It's a fire station. Okay. And what about? Well, let me think. If I want to buy a pair of shoes. No me va a decir la lixo. Ajá. How do we call it? That's easy. It's like a payless, I think. <laughs> yes, shoe shop. I had a, a two store. Okay. 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 Now, what 
prepositions can you see on the conversation? Or what do you think a preposition it is to start? What is a preposition? What do we use for? No se acuerdan que se les aprendieron Across en español. Across from. Across from. Okay. We have uh, across from. Next to. Next to. Mm -hmm. Next uh, between. to. Between. Okay, excellent. The corner of. Okay. Across from. Behind. Behind. Middle. Yes. On. On. Yes, correct. Near. Off. Near. Okay. In back of. Okay. Aquí está near. Okay, so we use this one are called preposition of place. Okay, of place because they are used to locate okay to locate in a specific space something a place okay and um also to describe okay in front, in front of in front of and around okay Okay, we have, uh, oh, there are different types of preposition. Okay, there, there are different types of preposition, but today we are going to work with a preposition of place, place. Okay, thank you. Um, Places around town, location, and there is Let's check how to, how we are going to ask about places. Okay, if there is or there is something that we need to locate or that we need to know. Okay, imagine that you are going to travel or different countries. Okay? You uh, are visiting uh, some relatives or some family in the US or Canada. So if you need to for specific places because you need to, to buy your, your stuff, your personal stuff, your food. Okay. So we are going to practice how to ask and how to locate uh, those specific places. Okay, this, here we have, okay, this one. Okay, we have um, a barber shop, a laundromat, okay, and how is another name or how how else can we call a laundromat? Lavanderia. Yes, but in English, in a different way, how do we call it? Laund uh, laundry. Laundry. Okay, laundry. Okay, library, stationery store, travel agency, grocery store, and theater. Okay, let's see. You are going to uh, say the name in the description of the place. Okay, we're going to start with Michelle. 
barbershop. Okay, it is a place where you, and you read the answer that you think is the correct. Okay, um, barbershop get a haircut. Okay, it's a place and where Very you deep. get a haircut. Okay, yes, correct. Okay, number two, Selma. A laundromat. Pero a donde lo veo, teacher, el map. No, in, we have uh, letters A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Ah, it's okay. a place where you... No, no, a ver. Okay, okay. Eh, si no me equivoco, es laundromat, was and dry clothes. Wash and dry clothes. Okay, yes. And we have barber shop, get a haircut, letter D. Okay, number three, Sandra. I can hear you. Layer G. G. Okay, borrow books. Okay. Number four. Melissa. Melissa Guadalupe. The microphone. In first stationary stores, yeah. Es, es tienda stationary. Amén. Sería if Make a reservation of a trip. Make a reservation for a trip. Okay. No. Okay, try again. We have buy food, buy cards and paper. Uh, see a movie or play and make reservation for a trip. Well, let's let's leave this one for the end. Okay, let's continue with the number five, uh, Jocelyn. It's number five. Uh -huh. Um, travel agency might reserve attention for a trip. Okay. Travel agency <coughs> may reservation for a trip. Yes, correct. Okay, number six, uh, Catherine, Stephanie. Okay, grocery store by food. Okay, by food. Um, Candelaria, number seven. Theater is a place where you see a movie or play. Yes, correct. 
the theater. 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 So the stationery store is? They receive by a course and pay. Let me see. Yes, that's like, uh, creo que ya, ya me, like, oops. Do you remember it in the past? Ops uh, was very famous, right? That that store. And also there was another one in Galerias, but I don't remember the name. But yes, it's to buy cards and like little toys. I think the name is UPS uh, teacher. Yes, yes, that's one that was the same in Galerias, was the same because- Oh, then I think the another one is a uh, Hallmark. I'll, I remember the name Hallmark or something like that. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Which one? Okay, so it, it's that kind of store, okay? That's a stationary store in which you can buy uh, little things like uh, cards, uh, small presents, things like that. Okay. Now this, the conversation, and then we have the grammar. So we have there is, there are, one, any, and some. And here we have some prepositions. Okay, we have on, next to, near or close to, across from, or opposite, in front of, in back of, behind, between, on the corner of. Okay, there are more prepositions, but they're more, more used. Okay, and here we have uh, some examples. We have two examples. One, you see the, um, is there. And the other one is with any. La bolsa, that's what I'm saying. Mute your microphone, please. Okay, so we have, is there a laundromat near here? Okay, we have, yes, there is, or no, there isn't. The short answer, okay, is there, is there, a laundromat near here, okay? And then we have the long answer, okay? Yes, there is. There is one across from the shopping center. And so we use the preposition here in the answer, okay? In the answer. And we start our question with the verb to be, okay? Recuerde que this is simple present. We are using simple present. Okay, is there, is there. But if you want to use are, okay, you have to add n. Okay, para utilizar are, you have to add n. Okay. Are there any grocery stores? And you have to change this one, it has to be in plural. Okay. Si yo voy a utilizar el is, I'm going to use it in singular. Okay. No estoy diciendo, por ejemplo, no puedo decir is there a laundromats. Okay. Also, if you see, here we have an A ah, that specific, there is only one. Okay, eso también nos, nos, nos especifica 
le, o va en concordancia con el singular del verb to be, which is is. And it will be the same for the answer. Okay, remember if, the, if in the question, if an is or if, if it is in singular, your answer have to be in singular also. Entonces, si se fija, igual miren in the answer, well, in the first part, we use the is. Okay, ya eh, 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 cambiando el orden. In the question, we inverse. Okay, is there. But in the answer, there is. Okay, recuerde que va a intercambiar las de, de, de posición. Okay, para la pregunta empezamos con el verb to be y para la respuesta dejamos el verb to be eh, al final, at the end. And then we have there's one. Okay, recuerde que como preguntamos en singular, vamos a contestar en singular. Okay, there's one across from the shopping center. Oh, no, there isn't. But there's one next to the library. Okay, con esta en singular, questions? Do we have questions? No. Muy bien, veamos entonces la de plural. Okay. Muy bien. Entonces, igual, si vamos a utilizar there is singular. En el caso que vamos a utilizar there are, sabemos que lo vamos a utilizar para plurals. En este caso, if we are asking, okay, are there any grocery stores in plural around here? Okay, we are going to add any in the question, in the question. But in the answer, we are going to add some, okay, some. In the short answer, yes, there are, oh, no, there aren't. And if we want to, to, to use the long answer, okay, yes, there are, there are some nice stores, okay, in plural, on Pine Street. Oh, no, there aren't, but there are some on Third Avenue. Okay, no, there aren't any around here. And uh, okay, we have here in negative when there is nothing, okay, also here, we can use any okay, we, when it's nothing, okay, when it's nothing. Remember any, it's equals to zero, okay, no existence. Entonces lo podemos utilizar. Bueno, debemos utilizarlo in the questions y lo podemos utilizar en las respuestas solamente cuando eh, nuestra respuesta es negativa y que no hay, en, o sea, que, que no hay ninguna, ¿ok? En ese caso lo vamos a utilizar. ¿Questions? ¿No? No. No. Ok, so let's do the next exercise. Ya sabía que no tenían preguntas, así que let's practice. Raúl. Sandra, questions? Sandy? No. Roberto? Uh, no, I think I understand when it's singular and when it's plural. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. For example, when we are going to use one, in which case? In which case, uh, teacher? One. One, uh, a bank or? 
But in which one? With there is or with there are? There uh, is. is there is. There is. What is about there is. some? Some? Some. Uh, what does it mean, some? Some? It's la. Eh, algunos. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, what for example, I think. There is or there are? Uh, there are. There are. Okay, there are some. And, well, también eh, es importante que, que vamos a utilizar some en el caso que no esté especificando la cantidad en plural. Ok, when your answer was in general. Como, sí, hay algunos, but I'm not saying exactly how many there are. Ok, sino que in general. Yes, porque si en mi respuesta, así como en la respuesta en singular, I can say one, okay, in my answer, for example, I can say, uh, if I ask, are there any banks in Metro Centro? Which will be your answer? Mm -hmm. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. And long answer. Yes, they are our for for banks, maybe. Okay, muy bien. So we can say the number, right? If we if, if we know the specific quantity, we can say the number. For example, yes, there are four banks at Metro Centro. Okay. Entonces, en ese caso, como estoy diciendo el, an specific number, I, I will not use some. Okay, but if I say it in general, yes, there are some banks, but I don't know how many are there. So, in general, some. But also, you can answer with the specific numbers. Así como one, okay, you can use two, three, four, or whatever. Okay, depending of the quantity. Okay, it's clear? Yes. yes. Okay. Now let's, let's make the exercise. Okay, we are going to write two questions. Okay, two questions about these places. Okay, we are going to use these places. Okay, bank, department store, gas station, gym, o a hotel, mire, este me faltó. Hotels, a laundromat, a payphone. Well, nowadays there is no a payphone. There are, there are any. Yes, Candy? Uh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. When we say, are, are there any gas stations on Main Street? And are there some gas stations on Main Street? The answer. The questions. Are there? If we can use some and any with are there. Are there some? Yes. Are there some gas station? Okay. Uh, no, I think only for the answer, only for answers. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. Yes, for questions, only any. Mm. Thank At you. The, uh, yes. Okay, let me. Okay, so you are going to share. Yes. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, las respuestas negativas van a ir siempre así. Contractadas. Ajá. Mm, es lo más común, pero no. 
puede también decir no, there are not. También, también se puede utilizar sin contracción. Ok, thank you. Ok. Ok, type two questions. Two questions. One using is, there is, and one using there are. Ok, two questions. Type, type, type. And you are going to use these places. I got any grocery stores near here or in the town or you need the compliment, Roberto. Okay. Is there a gas station on Second Avenue? Okay. Yes. Are there any? Um, Sande, if we are going to use R, remember that you have to write in plural. Libraries. Are there any libraries on Sixth Avenue? Are there any grocery stores around here? Okay, yes, that's better, Roberto. Mm -hmm. Yes, Sandy. Are there any drugstore around here? Okay. Is there a gym near here? Okay. Okay, hurry up, hurry up. Hay muchos han tardado algunos. Type your questions. Is there a police station near here? A ver y contextualízalo. Here in El Salvador. Use calle de aquí de El Salvador, La Juan Pablo. I don't know, where do you live? Do you live in San Salvador or, or in a department? Far from town. Um, are there any gym? <laughs> okay. If, si vamos a utilizar R, remember, has to be plural, Karina. Is there any church? Not far from here. Okay. Okay, solamente can de que any lo vamos a utilizar only with plurals. Is there a place for me here? I don't think so. Is uh, is this a King Plaza Hotel in front of first? Um, pero dónde está el el there? Selma.
is this or is there a perdón uh -huh. teacher <laughs> Is there any gym in the area? Yes, that's better for me. Are there any pollo campero around here? Yes. Are there any restaurants? Excellent. Ah, singular. You are using singular, Roberto. Are there any... Uh, you can say pollo campero restaurants to use plurals to you to use it as a plural form are there any restaurants near your house okay that's correct are there any restaurants okay same same mistake okay recuerde si vamos a utilizar are vamos a utilizar en plural Restaurants. Are there any gas, gas stations on Main Street? Se comió la preposición. Is there a supermarket next to the next to the gym? Are there any church near here? Yes. There. En la respuesta, recuerde que cambiamos el orden, Lucia. Para la pregunta empezamos con el verbo, para la respuesta empezamos con there. Yes, there are. O, oh, no, en ese caso sería como en nuestra respuesta solo vamos a, there is only one cathedral. Okay, so we are going to answer yes. There is a cathedral downtown or, yes, downtown in Santa Ana. Okay, or you can say there is, uh -huh, yes, there is, then we say there is. Is there a gym here? Ah, excellent, George, you see answers. Yes, there is. In between the post office and full day department store. Okay. Is there a shopping center near here? Are there any hotels around here? Yes. Are there any? Are there any? Selma, are there any hotels in San Salvador? Is there any dining room in, not far from here? Okay. Are there any restaurants? Are there any restaurants? Don't forget the plural. Near right now, yes, there are two restaurants in near for your campero and pizza hut. Okay. Is there a bank near here? Is there a restaurant of chicken bread in Sonsonate? Mm. Is there a super selector around here? Is there a gas station around here? Okay, yes. Okay, excellent. Muy bien. Si se fijan, más que todo hemos tenido problemas con la forma de, de, de plural, con are there, are there. Okay, remember, if you use are there, you have to uh, write or, or you, your places have to be in plural. Ese es el lugar, tiene que estar en plural si yo voy a usar are. Si yo voy a usar en singular, tengo que utilizar is. Okay. Is there a barber shop near here? Yes. There is one. There is one next to Super Selectors. There is a park. Is there a park behind? 
Herzlich reinkommen. Okay, okay jetzt. Sind. Okay, now you practice. Do you have more new questions? Hay algunos creo que no escribieron. Ya voy a ver los que sí escribieron y los que no. No questions? I have a question, uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, uh, what about if I try to say I'm looking for a uh, landrum mat, for example? Mm -hmm. it, the, is that correct? Or, or I need to say in a different way? Uh, yes, you can use uh, it like, uh, sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, I'm looking uh, for a laundromat, but, uh, but you have to complement. Uh, uh, is one here here? Siempre mm -hmm. tiene que, que decirlo. Oh, ok. Ah, oh, ok. It's, eso sería como an introduction. Introduction. Ah, oh, ok. Como una forma más educada. Ah, oh, ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. I got it. Is there a restaurant or food? Or fast food? Fast food? Meet here? Yes, there is. There is many. There are many, there are many. Que recuerden tener concordancia singular con singular, plural with plural. Okay, that's very important. Okay, I'm going to check the attendance uh, again. Yeah, questions? Uh, teacher, I have a question. Uh, mm -hmm. Is preposition when you say all the way or oh, something like all, all the way. way? No, oh. all the way, all the way. Is, Can you spell for, it, please? Uh, uh, for example, uh, if I try to say uh, uh, you have to go all the way straight, you know. And all the way, all, all no, way. Hold on, let me let me see how how do you spell? A L L space W A Y. Uh, oh, no, no, it's all the way or something like that, something like that. All the way, all the way is, all the way is, uh, how do you say recto? Uh, it's, it's straight. straight. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's because uh, a veces he escuchado que hay personas que dicen, uh, you have to go all the way straight. Uh, and, uh, and, por eso quiero saber que si esa es una preposición, all the way. No, no, no. it's not oh. a preposition. Ah, okay. Okay. I'm going to send you a list of, of all the prepositions. In order ah, to ah okay. okay. That's, that's going to be great. Yeah. Okay, Thank you. let me check. Jennifer Paola. Eh, Jose Francisco. Karen Xiomara. Here. Okay. Present. Sure. Martin Ernesto, Raúl José, here. Ah, Martin. Hi, teacher. Raúl José. Present. Ahí está. Speak louder. Um. I think Jose Francisco and Paola, Jennifer Paola. No. Okay. So that will be all for today. Tomorrow we're, we will continue. See you tomorrow. Have a nice. Okay, see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you. Thank bye. you. Bye. bye.
See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Teacher, Oye, me, no, no me dijo present cuando pase lista. ¿Dónde estabas? Present. Excellent. And dinner, decirle. Agenda. Ok, dinner. see you tomorrow. Teacher, solo que yo no sentí, no escuché que me mencionaron, no sé si me mencionó. Uh, yo solo... Yes. Ya le puse. Yo también, teacher. Thank you. Yes, yes, ya yes, está aquí. Yo Carla. también, teacher. No. Yes. Sí, aquí están. Están cerrando también, teacher. Muy sumamente. Yes, Carla. Sandra, yes, también. Ok. Sí, sí, okay. Las es que solo mencioné a los que a los que no habían estado en la primera. Ah, uh -huh. wow. sí, como a mí se me salió de la, de la reunión, por eso no, no alcancé a escuchar. Uh -huh. okay. Por eso la duda. Yes, don't worry. I'll see you tomorrow. <risa>